So my name is Sarah Corbett and I run the Craftivist Collective, which is people all over the world who are craftivists. So you do activism, use and handicrafts. And for me, it's all about gentle protest. So we only do protest um, and campaign about issues that we care about, but in a gentle, loving, effective way. Over the last 10 plus years, I've been honing where craft can be useful in activism and where it might not be useful, um, but activism always the, as the priority and the craft as a tool in the activism toolkit. And it's just spread like wildfire. Fire. So there's craftivist groups all over the world. There's individuals who use our kits and tools. Um, my books are in paperback this year because it sold really well. So there seems like a real want for a more quiet, gentle, slow activism. I'm delivering four workshops across the country, one of them being in Norwich, which is exciting. And then I've created kits and tools and instruction videos for organisers to do their own workshops, which is really exciting. And the Norwich event, we're doing two workshops in one day and they're timed and they're closed workshops. So they're just for a small number of people. So it's not a drop in like some of our other workshops. And it'll be great because it's in the forum, which has such a great history. And this project is all about daring to dream about how we can be change makers of the future. But what's so important about Heritage Open Days is it reminds us to learn from the past and learn what dreamers from the past, what they dreamt about and how they helped create that dream or um, go towards that dream. And with the forum, it's such a physical reminder of the history of the library burn and down and then people wanting to save the library. But then also think about what do we want that's more than a library? What do we dream of? And the dreamers of a community space. And then it was created. So I think it's amazing to do a workshop here because we're sitting somewhere where people had the community had a dream of, of a community space that was their own. But we can also think about, well, what's our dream for the future of Norwich? What's our dream for the future of the world um, or for our communities or our schools? Um, but really, like, what do we want to make the world a better place and how can we be part of creating that dream?